Hi everyone, I just like to show you my uh, 80 gallon reef tank build. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this all in one take, so no edits, no nothing. Um, I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm not one of those fancy uh, creative editing people. However, I would like to mention though that um, people who make their home videos on their tank builds, I almost think they're almost better than the bigger company ones that go over a lot. Um, I find I found almost most of my use learning experience came from the do it at home YouTube videos. Um, as well, I mean, as well as the bigger companies that they help you on the products and all that stuff, but really seeing it in action and working, and I was really able to pick from everyone's uh, own videos and I put it together in my own use. Uh, a little bit about, about myself, uh, which is a lot about my tank and how and why it's built the way it is, is uh, my background is uh, I'm a union pipe fitter. been doing it for about 15 years. So when I take you for a tour around my tank behind me, um, I'll go over why I built my system the way I did because that's just the way we do it in a commercial uh, and industrial way. Even though it's PVC, whereas normally I'm welding a 42-inch pipe uh, or 18-foot is my biggest, as well as you know copper and commercial and, and a lot of mechanical rooms, which is the same thing as our systems. Uh, why did I get in the hobby? And I'm going off of my notes, try to get this all done in one take. Um, you know, since forever I've always loved clownfish. Um, there's no water in my display right now behind me. Um, I do have clownfish in my other tank. Um, to help with my uh, NEMS stay clean and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I got into it for clownfish. You know, I've always loved saltwater. Um, I fish. I go. I've been fishing since I was a little kid. Um, I fished long range, so always loved water, always loved fish, always loved to be around it. Um, so my tank build, yeah, went over that. So behind me is an 80 gallon tank, and why 80 gallon is because that was the biggest that I can put in the spot of where it's going to go. Um, I live on a raised foundation, so my floor is about two feet off the ground. Uh, so weight was a factor, um, you know, heavier the tank, the, you got to worry about your structural. So actually I crawled in underneath the house, which wasn't bad, and I reinforced it in four spots. Uh, concrete cinder blocks and uh, four by fours put in underneath it in the spots where it's going to go. So, but also because it can only fit in between the two windows that I have from my uh, living room to my uh, dining room area without not being too big and getting uh, too much sunlight from the the windows. So, um, the sump. The sump, you know, is obviously our, our heart, is the heart of the uh, of the fish tank. So I have the a custom life reef sump, um, thanks to Jeff. Um, it's worked out pretty good so far. You know, I like how it's, uh, the reactors are inside instead of outside, so I feel like I saved some space, which space is a real big deal. I ran into big, some problems in the build. Uh, my UV sterilizer, I do have a, a, a large one meant for a much bigger tank just because I'm kind of, you know, I want bigger. Bigger is always better when it comes to filtration, so that's what I did. Um, it was kind of a pain now because now I had to take out the uh, refugium in order to get the UV sterilizer out in a way where I can change the light bulb once a year. but. I felt like that was a, a willing risk for me to uh, have to do as, as far as my maintenance. Um, I also have a, you know, it's, it's a fully uh, Neptune uh, setup. I mean, just about everything that I could possibly do on it is uh, automated. Um, automatic water changes, the auto top off, uh, the dosing. Um, I have flow sensors everywhere. Uh, I have uh, four flow sensors on the entire system, three on the display, and one at the uh, RO uh, system that I got set up. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, my big my pump setup. That's a really big one. You know, I built my systems the way I know it, the way we do it out in the field. Um, I have a primary and secondary, uh, or primary one pump. 
is always on, and primary two is a backup. But then uh, once a day, they uh, switch over from, um, right now I'm at 76% power on the uh, Neptune's core pump, and at uh, about 8 o'clock it, it switches over. The primary one will drop down to 10%, and primary two, I think it's like 40 or 50 percent some reason you know it doesn't equal the 76 but because the flow sensors I get the same um, GPH so which um, I'll show you how that's done um, and yes I have a feed set up uh, with the button you know it's real nice even though it's fully automated you know we all like to stay in tune with our, with our tank I could just automate the, the feed system but you know, we gotta stay stay somewhat in, involved with the tank. Uh, all right, so I'll take you for a tour of the tank, and I'll go over I'll go over everything. So let's see how this how this goes. So we'll start on the uh, the left side. So I have a um, the Ecotech battery backup for uh, two of the uh, MP10s. Um, I did hard pipe the uh, uh, from the overflow to the return, which you can see right here in the gate valve. My sump. I do have a core 15 for the sump, so I can uh, if you can see that. Yeah, I can see that too. Well. Yeah, trying to see it. Okay. And some of those hoses, yeah. So I'm still waiting for the uh, for one of the pellet reactors for the life reef system. But there we go. I got. And I had to have a special manifold made from for my setup. So and and there's the uh, the two core pumps, two core twenties that I have. Um, more power the better you can always re reduce it so over here that right there kind of wedged in is the UV sterilizer and you can see the glare white. Oh, it's kind of wedged in there a little bit but it's all right um, and I got a uh, right here that's my uh, sump camera which is uh, fully tilting so I can control it uh, got the uh, got the Kessel light for the refugium, you know, real powerful. Um, I do have a little bit of a gurgle. Uh, sound was always a major thing. I want it dead quiet. Um, a little bit of a gurgle, but it's like a, a dollar fix with a with a ninety and and whatnot. And it just uh, throttle it, which which is a very important thing is throttling, especially when you have a UV sterilizer. I have right here. This is the valve to control for the UV sterilizer so I can control how much GPH goes through it and then tucked away you can't really see it but all the way back in here behind it but kind of see where my finger is at that's the um, other uh, return up to the sump so I have this returns to the sump as well as the UV sterilizer returns to the sump which goes in part with how I have the core setup as you can see here I'll just 